Hello, welcome to a new video. This video is done on uh, group homomorphisms. First, we will see the definition of group homomorphisms, and and that's uh, uh, and it's then followed by uh, some examples. What's mean by a group homomorphism? A homomorphism. Uh, it's a function uh, phi, uh, phi which is defined from a group G to another group. See, we uh, we we will uh, take two groups G and uh, G uh, bar G or G bar are the two groups here uh, that we are considering, and uh, a function uh, is then defined from the first group to the second group. This is the first group, and G bar is the second group. And this function must satisfy um, the following condition. The condition is that uh, phi of a b, phi of a b equal to phi a uh, and phi b. See, here uh, you can see that this is uh, uh, this operation is in the first group. See, a and b are two elements of the first group. So, uh, whatever is the uh, whatever may be the operation in the first group that is considered here between a and b uh, to operate the elements a and b. Uh, and after that, then uh, we take the image of uh, the uh, uh, the result of the operation of a and b, and that result uh, then will be then taken as to uh, it will be uh, it will be taken to the uh, uh, to the second group. So that image will be in the second group, and that and that uh, that image uh, can be written as the uh, as the result of the operations of uh, uh, the image of the first element and the image of the second element and this operation is uh, uh, taking place in uh, the second group and that is the uh, that that's the uh, property that is the property that must be satisfied by uh, the function which is which is defined from uh, the first group to the second group so this is this operation can be, and this property can be called the the operation preserving property. See, uh, we can say that uh, if if this condition is satisfied by any two elements of the group G, uh, yeah, when we take any two elements arbitrarily, two elements are taken from the first group, and if we can verify that this uh, condition is satisfied by uh, every such pair of uh, elements chosen from the first group by the function of phi then we can say that that uh, function is a homomorphism and uh, we have uh, now an, an important uh, notion um, uh, uh, we have to define that notion which is related to the uh, the homomorphism that is that idea is uh, kernel kernel of the homomorphism what is meant by the kernel of the homomorphism you know you know that uh, um, yeah uh, identity since uh, G and uh, bar G are, uh, are are two groups. Uh, both contains identity elements. See, uh, the first group uh, contains uh, uh, an identity element. Second group also contains an identity element. So, uh, you can naturally you can think that what are the elements those belong to, uh, th those belong to the first group which are mapped to the identity element in the second group. See, I repeat. See those elements which belong to the first group. Uh, those elements we consider those elements which belong to the first group and that are directly mapped to the identity element in the second group so that kind of uh, uh, elements are taken together and that uh, that set and, and, and can be written as a set and we consider it as a set and those elements which belong to that set uh, uh, you know, then you know uh, uh, it, it is included all those elements are included in a set and that set will be called the kernel of the homomorphism so you know uh, we can define uh, if, f, uh, if phi is a homomorphism then a kernel of the homomorphism is defined as x in g those x in g those elements in g a set of those elements in g such that phi of x is equal that means x the element x in the group G is mapped to the identity element in the second group uh, here E is uh, taken as the, uh, as the identity element in the second group so phi of x is equal to phi x equal to E so if this condition is satisfied uh, by uh, the, the elements in x uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the an element x in G sorry an element x in G then we can say that uh, uh, it belongs to that uh, um, kernel okay and you know uh, the kernel is denoted by kr of phi 
Now uh, we are going to see some examples. There are uh, uh, the first example uh, is uh, in the first example we consider uh, R star that is the group of uh, the group of non-zero uh, real numbers. Here we consider the group of non-zero real numbers. Of course, it is uh, with respect to multiplication operation. The operation is multiplication. So with respect to the operation of multiplication, uh, so when you consider the uh, operation of multiplication, one problem element is there that is zero. You have to uh, avoid that. You have to remove that uh, element from the uh, set, and thus we get R star. In R star, zero is not there. It is excluded. Mm. and we uh, define uh, you know uh, and, and we we define a function and what is the second set uh, we this is the first set and uh, no uh, uh sorry uh, okay and here you know the here we are considering and uh, the the set r star okay then uh, then uh, here uh, it is stated that uh, you have to consider the uh, matrices uh, yeah, here A is the. Let's consider the matrix A. Uh, let A be the matrix A, and and we consider its uh, determinant. So we are we are taking the square matrix A, and but this square matrix belongs to GL uh, two R. See the uh, what is meant by GL two R? That is uh, the uh, group of uh, mm, uh, all two by two matrices. It is the group of all two by two matrices. Uh, uh, we, uh, two by two matrices, uh, which contains or uh, the elements in the matrices, uh, matrices are or the entries in the matrices are uh, real numbers or which are made up of uh, real numbers. So that is the uh, yeah, uh, the matrix two by two matrices containing uh, real entries, and we consider all those uh, uh, matrices, um, and uh, 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 then we consider uh, uh, yeah it's uh, mapping to r star okay the first group is or the first set here we consider or first group we consider is gl2r and the second group is uh, r star r star is the second group and uh, you know uh, that uh, uh, that the function or the fu or the uh, homomorphism here uh, which is defined here what is the homomorphism which is defined here it is uh, of course the mapping uh, of the uh, yeah, the matrix a to its determinant you know and the marking so phi of a uh, equal to determinant of a you can write that phi of a equal to determinant of a and uh, mm, now with respect to this uh, homomorphism you can show that this is a homomorphism uh, it's because uh, because you can uh, take two uh, two matrices a and b uh, suppose a and b are two matrices then phi of a into b equal to phi a into phi b so of course you have that result uh, in uh, in lower classes you have we have studied that result uh, when uh, determinant of uh, uh, two matrices two by two matrices are taken uh, of product of two two bedroom matrices are taken then determinant of the product a into b uh, equal to determinant of a into determinant of b so due to that uh, the operation is a homomorphism uh, moreover uh, what is the kernel of uh, uh, this uh, this homomorphism the kernel of the homomorphism uh, is uh, uh, is is the set of uh, those elements or those square matrices uh, belonging to uh, this uh, group belonging to GL uh, 2R uh, having its determinant equal to 1 or those matrices having determinant whose determinant equal to 1 uh, is uh, the kernel so uh, so it is clear that uh, the kernel equal to sl2r what is the SL, what is uh, what is what is the meaning of sl2r sl2r is the 2 by 2 matrices uh, the set of all 2 by 2 matrices having determinant equal to 1 so the kernel of gl2r equal to sl2r next example here we consider uh, the mapping uh, phi from r star to r star see uh, r star has the meaning which is uh, explained already here in the previous example so from r star to r star we def uh, define an operation which is defined by which is denoted by phi of x equal to modulo of x modulus of x uh, modulus of x okay phi of x equal to modulus of x that is the function 
Ah, and then uh, you know uh, phi of x into y, uh, where x and y are two elements of uh, uh, R star. See, uh, we we take two elements of R star. Suppose x and y are two elements of R star. Then you can uh, write the product here. Uh, here you know operation in uh, uh, in in both uh, these uh, sets are a multiplication operation. So only that operation I can give. Uh, I can make this uh, set A. A group so the multiplication is the operation therefore uh, you can write here phi of uh, uh, x into y where x and y belongs to r star and phi of x into y equal to and then you can see that phi x into phi y because it is modulus uh, uh, that that can be written as uh, for modulus of x y equal to modulus of x into modulus of y but modulus of x equal to uh, phi x and uh, modulus of y equal to phi y and therefore that's a homomorphism that we can so show that uh, you can show that it's a homomorphism and then kernel of phi what is kernel of uh, this one more vision it's equal to plus one and minus one the two elements which are present in this uh, set uh, in this group in r star in the group r star there are two elements one and minus one so both are uh, then mapped to when uh, by taking uh, modulus when we take the modulus of these two elements that give us one uh, that is the identity element in the second group so uh, one and minus one is the uh, set one minus one is the kernel of phi. Another example uh, here we consider uh, r of x. r of x uh, denote the group of all polynomials. See rx. Uh, it is the group of all polynomials uh, polynomials with a real coefficient. See uh, in the polynomial we are uh, restricted to use a real coefficients not any other uh, uh, other number uh, such as complex number or uh, some other, uh, other kind of numbers cannot be yeah, uh, complex numbers are mainly in the other type of numbers, and they are not uh, allowed to. Uh, we are not allowed to use the uh, those numbers here. Uh, only only the real coefficients are used, and and here the operation is addition operation. Uh, so uh, term wise addition operation uh, will be addition will be done, and then for any see uh, for any element of R X for any uh, uh, for polynomial f in R X, we uh, we we take f f dash. What is f dash? Uh, f dash is the is the derivative of f for any f in rx uh, f dash is the derivative of f uh, and uh, uh, okay then phi of uh, uh, rx we define phi from rx to rx we define phi from rx to rx uh, as f uh, to uh, f to f dash we defend us from f to f dash oh, uh, okay and then uh, it's it's a homomorphism it's because uh, uh, phi of uh, f into g if f and g are two uh, functions then phi of f into g equal to uh, f in uh, yeah f Oh, sorry here addition is the operation it is stated that uh, uh, therefore uh, f plus g if two uh, functions are taken f and g are two functions then f plus g f plus g is a uh, is a uh, is, is a new function and then phi of f plus g equal to phi of, uh, phi da, uh, equal to uh, uh, f dash plus g dash okay f dash plus g dash that is equal to uh, phi f plus uh, phi g phi f plus phi g Okay, so it's a homomorphism. Then kernel of phi is the set of all uh, constant polynomials. You can see, uh, you can verify that uh, it's the uh, the kernel is the uh, set of all constant polynomials. Another example is phi, uh, which uh, is defined from uh, z to zn. See, z is the set of uh, um, set of all uh, integers. Yeah, here uh, positive integers, negative integers, and uh, zero are included. Set of all integers. Uh, that is uh, the the, the function is then defined to zn is the zn is the uh, set of uh, numbers uh, yeah, modulo um, uh, the numbers modulo my number modulo n or, or the other uh, the, the yeah, uh, number when divided by n, uh, the remainders are uh, are taken. So those remainders will make the elements in the. So you take any integer uh, by inti by considering integers and uh, uh, integers, it is divided by n and remainders are taken, and those remainders will constitute the uh, group is a then. Uh, so. Uh, you know, uh, here uh, it is clear that the operation is addition. Yeah, addition is the operation in the first group and also in the uh, yeah, second group uh, you can uh, okay, yeah, consider addition is the operation then phi of uh, uh, and, and we define phi of m is equal to uh, phi, phi of m equal to m uh, m mod n phi of m uh, if you want an image of uh, uh, the element m 
and in what you should do uh, you should divide m by n uh, yeah that's m more n so you have to divide m by n and then remainder can be taken and that remainder will be element of uh, uh, zn and then of course it's a homomorphism kernel of i will be then uh, equal to the class uh, generated by n or the class 0 and that is the congruence class uh, see um, that that uh, um, uh, that class generated by uh, uh, the number uh, all those numbers which are multiples of n so zero is there and then n is there two n three n uh, etc all those positive multiples of n and, uh, and the negative multiples of n uh, they are minus n uh, minus two n minus three n uh, uh, sorry yeah minus three n yeah, uh, minus 2n, minus 3n, minus 1n, etc. And these are the elements in this class. So that is the uh, uh, that is the kernel of uh, the operation phi. Another example mm, uh, here again we consider r star. So phi of r star to r star, phi from r star to r star. Uh, here mm, we consider the multiplication operation, but it's a different uh, uh, relation. We are, we are different um, uh, yeah, image we are going to define. So phi of x when x is taken from this this uh, uh, group of multiple under multiplication group under multiplication and then phi of x uh, must give us x square that that means uh, element is squared x square uh, but you can you know, show that it's a homomorphism how uh, to show that it's a homomorphism you have to take two uh, two elements of uh, uh, the, uh, the group r star then phi of a b equal to uh, then directly you have to write a b the whole square but equal it's equal to a square into b square a square into b square equal to phi a into phi b Next example, uh, but you know it's uh, it gives. Um, see, we have uh, we have seen many examples uh, as uh, for uh, homomorphisms uh, defined from one group to another group. But now uh, in this one, uh, the example we are going to uh, see here is it's it's a non-example. That means it uh, it gives us uh, a function which is not a homomorphism, a function which is defined between two uh, groups or from first group to another group, uh, but it is not a homomorphism. See for that uh, consider the function phi from R to defined from R to R under addition actually the operation is addition and then phi of x uh, and, and, and phi of x is defined as x square phi of x equal to x square but you know it is not a homomorphism phi of x equal to x square is not a homomorphism it's because phi of uh, uh, addition is the operation so phi of a plus b equal to a plus b the whole square that's equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and that's not equal to uh, phi a plus phi b um, uh, but what is phi a plus phi b? Phi a plus phi b equal to a square plus b square. It is not equal to a square plus b square. Thus, uh, we have seen many uh, examples for homomorphisms, and uh, one and uh, last one uh, is not an example for homomorphism. It gives us uh, a, um, uh, a non-example to the homomorphism. Okay, that is the end of uh, this video. Thank you.